Hi, what's up, y'all? My name is Kirk Franklin. How are you? I'm here talking about my new album, Losing My Religion, comes out Friday the 13th. That's right, Jesus Music on a scary Friday. And uh, you're checking me out right here on Stuff Fly People Like TV. Man, I've been really good, man. I uh, spent the majority of this year uh, um, giving birth to a new album. And uh, you know, it's been a beautiful process. It's been a, a very painful, vulnerable process. But you know, that's what, that's what giving birth can be. It's very important for people to know that, that sometimes people's righteousness can come in based on what they do. They feel like that if they go to church more, if they give more, if they keep all the rules, if they do the right things, that that makes them righteous. But um, what what makes us righteous is that when we accept His Son, that when you accept His Son as your Savior, that that's really all the fulfillment that God is looking for. Because if it's based on my works, there was no need for the Son. And the problem with works is you never know when you've done enough because the rules always change. So you become a hamster that's always trying to find its way, but you know, you really never make any momentum. And so basically, um, with the new album, when I say losing my religion, I'm saying that just like marriage cannot guarantee intimacy, rules does not guarantee relationship. And that rules with our relationship leads to rebellion. And I believe that's why so many people leave church or leave, you know, uh, Christianity or just any type of system of belief because you keep stacking the rules on them. I'm saying um, that I believe that it's time for us to stop trying and start trusting. Hmm, well, you know, it, what's kind of funny is, is that I never really um, made it an attempt to try to um, to align myself with mainstream people or to try to go after that. I think that when the songs, which is really God's sovereign plan, when the songs kind of started to cross over, um, then you kind of start developing relationships. But you know, you're not, but I think that it's very dangerous to go, I'm gonna make joints that cross over so I can rock out with these rock boys over here. And it's, you know, it's, you know, that, so I believe that it still boils down to motive. I listen right now to uh, Taylor Swift, Mufford & Sons, Kendrick Lamar, um, Andre Crouch, Greatest Hits album, um, Mercy Me, you know, uh, I'm excited about the new U2 album, you know, you know, it's, I just rock what feels good, I find, you know, as I mess with what I feel is very genuine, and just very honest music, and because that's what I want to be. I want to be a very genuine and art, and just a very honest artist. Well, you know, everybody that I listen to is not for the purpose of me wanting to work with them. It's that I just try to make sure that I'm expounding and expanding what it is that is culturally relevant. And I love great artistry, and I think he's a great artist. Uh, you know, of course, um, you know, I'm not able. To I'm not able to co-sign all the lyrical content, but that's not my job to, um, you know, just like it's not my job to co-sign Denzel when he does a, a bad character, but I still respect him as an actor, you know? So for me, you know, it's always trying to celebrate the art. What, what fly means to me is, is uh, not trying. Just not trying, not trying so hard to be that dude that gets the attention that that you just naturally flow with a style and just a look that is naturally you that looks like something that um you know that you would you know just rock without spending hours and hours trying to figure it out because when you study long, you study wrong. It's what I would say is is that instead of all of the Twitter beef and and uh, just social beef, is uh maybe turn all that stuff off and get in the studio and work on some good music.